What's going on guys, it's Box and Lowdown and I'm back here with another video now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe the video. Feel free to drop a comment if you'd like, I may do my best to reply to you. But let's get straight to the news man, I'm sure you guys have already heard but it was announced yesterday that Deontay Wilder and his team will be looking to activate the rematch clause for Fury Wilder 3. Now this was didn't go down very well, obviously. And then when you saw the excuses coming out from Deontay Wilder and his team, it made it even worse. Now, um, I don't fault Deontay Wilder so much, so to speak. I mean, the guy is a champion. He was a champion. He's um, obviously, his pride is very hurt. He's gonna wanna regain his belt. I've got absolutely no issue with him feeling like he warrants the right to have a rematch. I mean, it was in the rematch clause. He's seen other people do it, such as Anthony Joshua. After he lost his fight with Ruiz, he took the rematch straight away. So, I don't know. I don't feel no, you know, like, with Deontay Wilder, I'm not really, um, I don't know what the word to, to really describe it, but I don't really hold much against him for wanting to pursue the rematch. He's a fighter. That's what he's going to want to do, obviously. But this is what you have a team for. And uh, to see some of the excuses coming out from some of his team as well as Deontay Wilder was a bit shocking to me, such as Jay Diaz, who was in the corner for that fight, uh, turning on his own like teammate, Mark Breland, who actually threw in the towel to hang this guy out to dry like they have, Deontay Wilder and Jay Diaz, has been nothing short of disgraceful to me. I mean, I think it's been really in bad taste, especially when you consider Mark Breland was a former fighter himself. He's been there, he's done it. He legitimately cares about his fighter. But to see, you know, some of the quotes that I saw yesterday, Deontay Wilder coming out and saying that, you know, that there will be consequences for this and he knew not to do this. And like Jay Diaz as well saying that he wouldn't have thrown a towel in. Publicly airing Mark Breland out to dry. Been a bit classless for me, if I'm being honest, man. I mean, I think Deontay Wilder, we, we know he got beaten comprehensively in that fight and I think he should just take it, you know. Um, by all means, if you want to go for the rematch, just say, look, you know, um, I lost the fight and I want to have the chance to regain my belt. There's a rematch clause in the contract and I feel like I can beat Fury in the rematch. That's all he really has to say. But this talk about the costume, weighing him down and making him tired and, you know, all these other excuses that we've seen, it's just not going down very well to me. And um, it's kind of left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. But it's looking like, regardless of what we think anyway, I mean, because we're just boxing fans, but it's looking like that this fight will be happening now. Whether it's in the summer, like reported dates of June, possibly maybe August were being mentioned, but we there's been no sort of like actual discussions as to when this will happen. But all we've been told is that Wilder will activate the rematch clause. So I guess it will go down to, you know, what dates these guys can agree. But if the clause is activated, and obviously that will be the fight that Fury will have to take next. So listen, like I said, uh, Wilder's going to believe that he can be, I mean, he's a fighter. So, you know, sometimes these fighters need protecting from themselves. And we've seen a lot of great, um, you know, analysis in spite of this defeat. I saw a great piece from Andre Ward, shout out to him. He uh, was speaking about Deontay Wilder's loss live on TV after the fight. And I think he summed it up perfectly. I mean, there's a clip on YouTube on it by now. Uh, I shared it on my socials as well. So if you guys haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. But... I mean, he summed it up perfectly, man. And I think John Tewada needs the right team around him to really, um, you know, advise him as to where he needs to go at this stage. I mean, he is 34 years old. Some people are looking at it as a cash-out fight. And I really, when I look at it, I mean, he's had two fights with Fury now. In my opinion, he's lost, well, he definitely lost the first one. Definitely lost the second one, sorry. But he also lost the first one, in my opinion, as well, which turned out to be a draw. So, um, yeah. Unlike AJ Ruiz, I don't see how Deontay Wilder can make the necessary adjustments to win this fight. Um, with Anthony Joshua, we saw that he was able to box and move, whereas in the first fight, he did manage to get some success by putting Ruiz down, but ultimately he fought the wrong fight. With um, the rematch with that fight, I mean, we knew that Anthony Joshua could switch it up if he needed to, and that's exactly what he did, and he won a comprehensive decision. With Deontay Wilder, how much do you think he'll be able to switch up his tactics and change his game plan against Tyson Fury. There's not really going to be much that he can change. With, he is what he is. So um, whether he gets in a new trainer or whether he, you know, tries to adjust, I think the only thing really for him is that right hand against Fury. And I mean, he has shown that he can knock down Fury, but I mean, it wasn't enough to keep him down. And I'm thinking that the third fight could be just as dominant or even more as the second fight was. Because in my opinion, like I said, 
Fury's won two now, even though he didn't get the decision in the first one. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on it anyway, man. I mean, I don't know if he's officially activated the clause. I think he's just said that he will do. So let's see what happens from now until then. But the news that we got yesterday was that indeed Deontay Wilder will be activating that rematch clause. I've given my thoughts on it. Would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Make sure you drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll make sure to reply to all of you. But thank you all for tuning into the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.